What's up, YouTube? Today, I'm recording this video on the eve of one of the greatest days in gaming history, as ARPGs as we know it will forever change with a dynamic endgame, one of the best trading systems known to mankind. Wait a moment, they're not improving the trade. So you gotta get these top five tools. These top five tools are completely essential. If you don't have these tools, you're not gonna make as much money. You're not going to be as efficient, right? So at the launch of every PoE league, I always feel like I have to open five different processes on my computer. If I go to my taskbar, there will be a billion processes and that's just how it is, right? So if you want to be the best, you want to get these five tools. So I'm going to go over these real fast. I still need to get breakfast and get ready for the league. But number one, Chaos Recipe Enhancer. So the Chaos Recipe Enhancer is pretty cool in that it allows you to get steady currency generation early game. You don't need to depend on any specific unique drops. So if you're not really getting lucky, you can create your own luck by dumping your rare items into a dump tap. And then the Chaos Recipe Enhancer will tell you how many sets you have and it will tell you which items can, you can take out to make the perfect set. So this pretty much allows you to dump all your items to a dump tap and filter dynamically also updates every map to tell you what you actually need to pick up. So you can see here, let's use the Chaos Recipe Enhancer. So these are the settings you have. Put your account name, session ID, and this is where you select the Chaos Recipe and then you can choose include identified items for the recipe. And here you wanna type in the prefix of your stash tab. And so here, stash tab prefix right here is D1423333. So right here, now you bring up the overlay. And the overlay is something that looks like this. So this will pretty much tell you exactly how many you have of each item. So in the stash tab, currently I have one ring. So this one, so this one here is two low eye levels. So there is one ring and one one amulet. So once you get enough, you'll press stash and then it will tell you what to take out. And then this is how it knows because it has a overlay over your dump tab. You also adjust this overlay so it matches up perfectly. And then once you have a set ready to go, you could just press stash and it'll highlight over in red each item you need to make a set. And it's incredibly efficient. So pretty much early game, all you have to do is just dump everything into a dump tab and then let this rest, let this tool take over. And this tool just got updated by a third party, so it should be working for the league start. No guarantees though, but very, very helpful tool. And if you are struggling for early game currency, this tool is definitely going to help you out with making some chaos. So you can use this chaos to buy a six link early or a tabula early. And all you need to do is find some jewelry. So this is also very, very strong if you decide to pair it up with the rogue exiles or the atlas passive tree as the rogue exiles off to drop a lot of rings and amulets. So next up, we have POE Lurker. POE Lurker allows you to manage incoming trades. It shows this little icon down in the bottom left by your, what's it called, flasks. And I don't know if you can actually move it around, but basically it gives you these little buttons to press. This tells you how much the trade is worth. This tells you indicator that buyers in the same area. Three, you could, type, you could just click on this button and tell them that you're busy in a map. And four, you can dismiss the offer. So very, very useful tool. And I think one, you just press to invite them to the trade, actually. I don't really know why it doesn't show that. But most importantly, the number one thing that POE Lurker does is it allows you to copy and paste a message into the game and immediately be able to whisper them. So if we go to POE trade right here. And we let's go see. Let's go to standard, any, online. So if you click this button right here, it'll automatically whisper them in the game and you don't need to do anything else. So it's super, super useful if you drag this to another monitor and then you just spam click a bunch of people so that they respawn faster. This is probably one of the most useful programs out there in terms of actually helping you out and getting you more bang for your buck in terms of how much you actually have to trade and try to buy items from other people. Very, very essential program. Out of all of these, this is probably the most important one for your sanity's sake, just because it allows you to automatically copy and paste them into the game. So you're pretty much saving like three or extra, three or four extra button presses. 
So next up is Awaken PoE Trade. Awaken PoE Trade is probably the best price checking software on the market. It has the best features. It looks the best. It's just the best. It helps you figure out the price of uniques and it also helps you figure out the price of rares by setting the item level and choosing specific mods. Now you can see here, this is what it looks like. So you pretty much press control D or whatever you set the hotkey to while you hover over an item and it tells you how much it's worth. So here's like five chaos. So with this thing, you pretty much have a built in alarm clock, right? And so you can wake up. So let's just say we have this ring over here. So usually it's pretty hard to price check a ring. So first of all, you can set it as I-84 shaper ring, two stone, and you can see here some results that pop up. And here, this is pretty much like usually the web trade website. You can set specific mods on it. So this ring will have 70 plus life and 95 plus total res. Now, if you want it to be more specific, you could put, it has to have 38 or more web elemental damage with attacks. Wow, I have a ring worth two mirrors. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm gonna sell this ring for one mirror, I guess. And to sell it, put it at one mirror. But basically, you get it like that, right? You pretty much can find uniques you have, and you can see how much it's worth. So here, Control D, it, six link eternity shroud. But this is six white sockets. We don't want six white sockets. You can do it like that. You can see here, six link eternity shrouds worth roughly like three exalts. And this is very very useful in helping you out trying to figure out how much an item is worth, like a unique or something early game. A lot of time, unique prices change rapidly early games. So like say you have a tabula, a tabula could go from like 12 chaos all the way to 20 chaos in a few hours. And this is pretty much a pretty big lifesaver if you're trying to sell a lot of items early game. So you don't need to constantly be referring to the trade website and having all these breaks in your gameplay. Next up, we have better trading PoE. Now better trading PoE allows you to put this into your game. So what this is, it's a bookmark. So usually you have a bunch of bookmarks if you're trying to have a lot of safe searches. So use to make safe searches so that you do not need to have a bunch of bookmarks and tabs open. You can share your safe searches with other people with an import link like Pob. So as you can see here, a lot of people always ask me for my bookmark links. So here, they're all over here and then you can just click on each search and you don't need to actually go make a new tab or bring up a bookmark and it looks pretty nice you can name the searches so this is like six link brass dome now for all the vultures out there you could also import this for other people or export it i mean so here is the copy and paste link so you copy and paste this you copy to the clipboard so you would usually put this on the paste bin or control c and then you go over to import uh, way down at the bottom here import folder and then you want to make sure you control V the import code. A lot of people control V the pastebin link instead, and that's just not right. So make sure you import the code. You put save, and then you'll see that there's a new search identical popping up. So this is how you can save your searches for a lot of people. I know a lot of people have OnlyFans where they give out their private searches or private photos or whatever. So it's pretty useful. And I definitely highly recommend you get this to try it out. Just for like lag sake, we all know PoE doesn't exactly have the best performance. So having like 15 tabs open is not really the best thing in the world. And on the topic of tabs, we have our last new program hand developed by someone in my community known as Live Search Manager. Now, Live Search Manager was originally developed because my friend wanted to try to make something different that was used that used to be updated by the by someone in the community, but has now been abandoned. So this is used to manage live searches so you can be the first one to whisper to seller. So if you ever put up a cluster jewel and you're wondering how someone actually already messaged you right away, then this is exactly how. It's used to manage it, it puts it into a nice information and it's very visually appealing so you don't need to have a billion tabs open again. So basically, you put in a new search over here, and this is the PoE trade link. You can name the search, say it's like Red Blade Banner or something like that. And then you choose the league, and then you can put in the search code over here, and it will create it. And you can also pause it. The previous one does, did not have the option to pause. And it'll present all of the information, the results feed over here. So if you want to skip past the result, you press the X. If you press this button, it'll also whisper the person in game directly like that. So you can pretty much have this on the other monitor and immediately press the message button as soon as you see it pops up and it will be super, super good. And this thing also has a feature to auto copy 
to clipboard, which means that with PoE Lurker, it will actually automatically whisper the person in game maybe. I haven't really tried it out before, but supposedly it would work technically. Now, before the old program looked really bad, you couldn't pause any of the live searches. So this is a super, super useful tool just for helping out with sniping items. I know a lot of people are probably trying to snipe Raider Splitters or something early game, and this will help you out in trying to get the items first. And this is exactly how someone is able to whisper you literally five seconds after you put up an item. So you can put up a live search for what you want to do. And wow, the patch notes are coming out a lot of the new patch but yeah hopefully all of these tools help out everyone i do know that poe is a pretty crazy game at league start in terms of the amount of tools you need so if you go down here and look at my stuff i have chaos recipe enhancer i have poe lurker i have discord i have awakened poe trade i have a logout macro of lovebot i didn't even include that in these live searches in this uh video and i have better trading poe and I have Awakened POE Trade. I have this new Headhunter app, Live Search Manager. And that's just how it is. Until GGG wants to add some more quality of life into the game, we're just stuck with making these tools for ourselves, right? Ourselves, right? So I hope everyone have a, has a great league start. I hope you're able to download these tools, set it up before the league actually launches. I should have probably made this video sooner, but I wanted to keep this short and sweet. But thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you find more beers, exalts, and mage bloods than me. And have a great league start. And see you next time. Bye.